Alright, uh, today I want to show you how to do measurements on a camshaft lift. Now this is really important information because maybe someday you want to build your own race car, maybe for drag racing or dirt track racing or even for a motorcycle. And you can actually call the camshaft company and have a, a, a camshaft custom made for whatever purpose you need to use it for. So in, in order to find out how far your valves actually open inside the cylinder, which you can't see, of course. So we, I will show you how to measure one out. Now, <coughs> coming up here, you'll notice that we're on the small side of the cam. Now, this is called base circle. All right, base circle is basically just the uh, diameter of the camshaft. So when you place your gauge on here, you want to try your dial indicator, you want to stay on that base circle, right? <clears throat> now when we rotate it around and it will come up to the cam lobe that's here and it will measure the height from the base circle up to the top of the cam lobe. And this is uh, something that you probably use quite a bit in, in your experience being in uh, this industry. Now first thing we want to do, we want to put a little bit of oil a little bit didn't take very much we put this on these mains and we put the mains on here so we can have a nice smooth rotation okay we'll just kind of smear that around there a little bit we'll wipe it on my cameraman's pants <laughs> <laughs> so what we want to do we're going to rotate this around and then until we get it oiled up all the way around okay all right, so now, back on the base circle, you want to kind of make sure that you place your pin about in the, the line of the diameter of the camshaft itself, okay? So, now, once we got that done, we have to come back around here and zero our gauge. These things are really touchy. There we go. All right, so once that's on zero, now as we rotate it around, it's going to make a few laps around here, usually two or three. And then you see the small gauge inside will actually tell you how many revolutions that the large needle made. So here we go. Keeping the mains in line. Okay, so there's one, two. Now when the needle stops, it starts to go back, you go back to it. All right, so this one would be point two, and then we come down to the 30, 31, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 36, 37, so it would be point two, three, seven. And that's how we check the lift on our uh, camshaft, and you do it for your intake, you can do it for exhaust, you can also do it for jake brakes in the larger engines, and you can also do it for injection cam load lift as well. That's all I have for you today, so come back and see me sometime.